Backup Options. In this video, we will show you how to create backup schemes to optimize backup storage space usage, improve data storage reliability, and automatically delete the obsolete backup versions and configure backup options. How to create a backup scheme. Imagine you have files and or folders you work with every day. You need to save your daily work results and want to be able to recover them. Let's see how you can do this using a backup scheme. From the Backup and Recovery tab, click File Backup. In the File Backup window, select Files and or Folders you want to back up and specify the backup destination. Click Turn On for the Schedule item. In the Scheduler window, click Daily and specify a start time for the backup operation. For example, if you finish your everyday work at 8 p.m., specify this time or a little later, 8.05 p.m. as the start time. To make sure that the backup location does not overfill, we recommend choosing one of the available backup schemes. Backup scheme selection can be found on the Backup Options, Backup Scheme tab. Acronis TrueImage 2014 allows you to choose several backup schemes. We will select Incremental Scheme. This is most recommended when you need frequent backups and the ability to roll back to a specific point in time. Select Create a Full Version after every five incremental versions. To limit storage space for the versions, click Turn on Automatic Cleanup. To delete obsolete backup versions automatically, you can set one of the following cleanup rules. Set Keep Size of the Backup no more than 30 gigabytes. Note that this setting should depend on the size of the backup location. As a rule, incremental backups are considerably smaller than full or differential backups. Hence, this scheme is least consuming in terms of storage. More about the difference between full, differential, and incremental backups can be found in our online documentation. In the event of a Thursday crash, the program would have to recover the Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday incremental backups and the last full backup. If you lose an incremental backup or it becomes corrupted, all later incremental backups will be unusable. How to set up backup options. In the Backup Options windows, you can configure options for a disk partition, file, email, non-stop, and online backup processes respectively. To open the Options window, click the appropriate link. Choose, for example, Disk Backup Options. Go to Advanced tab. Here you can specify additional settings for your backup. If you select Validation and check Validate Backup when it is created, the program will check the integrity of the recently created and supplemented backup version immediately after backup. A backup file can be password protected. Enter the password for the backup into the password field. Please document in a safe place for future reference. If a password is lost or forgotten, there is no way to retrieve it. As a result, you won't be able to recover your backup. On the Performance tab, you can configure the following settings. Compression level, operation priority, network connection speed limit. For example, you can choose the compression level for a backup. High, higher backup file compression level, takes more time to create a backup, or normal, the recommended data compression level, set by default. Note that the optimal data compression level depends on the type of files stored in the backup. For example, even maximum compression will not significantly reduce the backup size if the backup contains essentially compressed files like JPEG, PDF, or MP3. You can also specify an email account that will be used to send your email notifications. We will use Gmail account as an example to configure the email notifications. Select the Send Email Notifications About the Operation State checkbox. Configure Email Settings. Enter the email address in the To field. Enter the Outgoing Mail Server SMTP in the Outgoing Mail Server SMTP field. You can find account settings on the website of your email provider.
Set the port of the outgoing mail server. By default, the port is set to 25. If required, select the SMTP authentication checkbox and then enter the username and password in the corresponding fields. To check whether your settings are correct, click the Send Test Message button. More about all backup options can be found in our online documentation. Thank you for watching.